Hi, this is Tanya from Love Buddha Tarot, back with the cards for today for the 17th of January 2017. Um, please excuse me again, I've woke up full of cold again, so I, I will shake it off eventually. Uh, so sorry if, if I sound a little bit a little bit bunged up. I'll try and get through this with um, without sneezing or coughing or anything like that. Right, okay, the cards today, um, following on from yesterday, you know, there's a real... Uh, Real strange feeling with these. What I love about these cards is how I'm using the Tarot, the Colette Baron Reed and the Osho and how they all work together. You know, this is, I always find that fascinating within Tarot, how one will give a message and then the other two seem to just verify it, you know. So these three decks are working very, very well together. And the card that I have for today is the Moon. Now, what I want to say to you is fasten your seatbelts if they're not already fastened, you know, because like I say, we have been through quite a crazy, crazy time. But this is talking more of, I feel like, a mental roller coaster in your head. Um, you know, and it, it 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 could seem like you've lost your way, you know, you might be having crazy dreams. I had very strange dreams last night. Um, but you might be having crazy dreams, you know, you might be even acting a little bit erratically as well, because when this card comes up, it's sort of like you are walking blind and you are not sure of which way to go. It's like like I say, like feeling the way in the dog. I'm getting in there, you know, can you remember when you used to play that game, Blind Man's Buff, when you were a kid and somebody would put a blindfold on you, spin you round and then let you go and you had to go and find it and you were that disorientated and you didn't know which way was right, you didn't know where you were and you couldn't see neither. And this is what I'm feeling within this card because there's a lot of confusion coming through with this as well. And what this card is saying is really take time to just like analyze your situation, you know, and yourself fully, um, you know, and start to write things down as well. Because I think once you start to write them, you might get a little bit more clarity as well. Um, because what the, the moon does, the moon always tells us to look at the shadow side of us. And we all have a shadow side. We all have a side of us that we don't really like, you know, or aspects of our personality that we don't like. Um, but once we address them and once we recognize them and once we accept them as well, as that is part of us, you know, then this it makes it easier to deal with them. So... What this card is saying today is it, it's really like, look at things within your life. Look at things that are going on, situations you're in or whatever that are causing blocks and blocking your growth, okay? Because there is a lot of control comes in with the moon. Um, this can be controlled from others and it can be controlled from our own ego as well, you know, and our ego, what we need to remember is our ego is our false friend. OK, but they're bringing in there. Be aware of false friends. Now, this is the second time that this has came up. This came up last week as well. So like I say, I really want you to be vigilant around who you are spending your time with, who you may be taking advice from, you know, who may be giving you advice or who may be trying to show you which way to go because when I'm looking at this card what I'm getting is there's a tower there and a tower there and it's sort of like being between a rock and a hard place you know and there may be little nagging doubts here because this I don't know if it's a lobster or whatever but it's like them little niggles you're getting in your head please listen and listen to them you know um what I want you to do here as well, if we have a look, the pathway is actually clear. This is the first time I've seen this in this card. The pathway is actually clear, but it's these two dogs barking and howling that seem to be, if you think if you're walking along a road, it happened to me once in Thailand, I was walking along this road by myself at night time, and there was this pack of dogs came out to me, and it was like, right, okay, and they looked very vicious. So I thought, what do I do? If I run, they're going to run after me, you know? So what I done was I just stood tall and I walked straight through them. I walked towards them and they dispersed. And this is reminding me of this. So the path is clear there. All you need to do is actually bravely walk through to these, these dogs that are howling or whatever's being said on either side and actually get yourself there. Because once you get through that, that is when your path is clear. And what I want you to do here as well is instead of looking at this moon as scary, which often the moon is because the moon often brings a lot of fear into it, use this light that the moon is shining to illuminate your way. 
Okay, so like I say, don't look at it as as, as scary. Um, so it, it it's like this card is telling you, like I say, there's there's a this deceit comes in when the moon's here as well. But what this card is saying is really see what is blocking your path. Really be truthful with yourself yet, you know. See what is it you are scared of. You know, ask yourself that. What is it you are really, really scared of that is stopping you from going after your dreams and stopping you from moving forward? And once you are truthful to yourself with this, you will see, you know, the blocks aren't with you. The blocks are with something else. You Once you take that fear away, like I say, and bravely walk towards this, that is when your path will become clear. Now, if you are a creative type as well, you may be totally bombarded with ideas at the moment, you know, um, and this is telling you to get them out, get them out on paper, you know, um, if you're a painter, paint stuff, this is just about, you need to get things out, and this is, you could even sit up all night doing it, you know, because this is saying, you know, there's like, there's a fine line between genius and madness, um, and this, the, the moon uncovers it, now, if we think, you know, some of the greatest artists of our time, you know, were people that got that passionate and they had to get the work out. And, you know, and many people said that they were mad. Many people said that they were crazy. But what they were doing is they were producing their art and they actually changed the world by what some person said was madness you know, was actually genius in another person's eyes. And it made such a mark on the world, you know. So, like I say, this is about getting stuff out, you know. It, it, it's all there. I can feel it. It's like bottled up and it needs to come out here, you know. This card is also saying um, to trust your intuition here as well. And it's telling you to be very vigilant because all is not what it seems in, in your environment. It, it's not, you know. So this card is saying, be very careful who you trust. Look beyond what you are being told, because there are a lot of half-truths here. And when I see half-truths, a half-truth to me is still a full lie, you know. Because this is telling you that... Um, no matter how crazy the stuff in your head seems, please listen to it, you know. People might be telling you that it's wrong and don't be silly, that's madness, whatever. But listen to your gut at the moment because I feel it's going to be your best friend. Um, and, you know, it's telling you to beware for a reason. This card, whenever I see this as well, what I always see is that it talks about psychic vampires. And when we are around psychic vampires, I hate that term, it's all very twilight and whatever, but psychic vampires actually suck the energy out of you, you know, they can be negative, they can have dark thoughts themselves, you know, or they can just take your energy, and what happens is they get like hooks into you, you know, they get sort of these psychic hooks into you, um, and this can draw on your energy as well, you know, you will know if you're around a psychic vampire, because you will feel pretty crappy, you will feel quite tired, you will feel very negative, and you will feel quite low self-worth, as well when you're around them, because this is what they do, they leech onto your energy, and they suck it out so that you have nothing left, you know, and it's a very, very real thing, so what I want you to do today is imagine a bubble of white or gold light around you, you know, if you're around these psychic vampires, when you're talking to them, put your hand, cross your arms, put your hand over your solar plexus, because this is when they're drawn the, on, on your power, you know, Maybe take a salt bath, because a salt bath will help cleanse you as well. But it's time to have a bit of protection around you, because there is people sucking on your energy here, and I, I, I really, really don't like it. Now, the good thing with this card, like I say, not, not a lot of people like this card. I really, really like it. The good thing with this card is that it shows that it will all eventually become uncovered here. So it's like, you know after the dark comes the light, so everything will come out into the open here, the truth will be shown to you, so you just sit and bide your time, protect yourself, write stuff down what's in your head, don't really share it with that many people I think, because like I say, I'm, I'm saying be very careful who you trust here, um, but you know, this is saying just bide your time, it will, it will all become apparent, you know, and like I say, whenever there's deceit, 
the truth out, always outshines it. Okay, so it will come out, everything will come out in the wash. They've just said that. So today, with this card, what I feel you need to do is just sit with your uncertainty. You know, it can be quite a scary card, you know, and our minds, when our minds go like this, it can scare us a little bit. But if we take the time just to sit with the uncertainty, you know, um, let things show themselves and know that after the dark comes light as well, you know. This card is bringing in a need for truth and the need for authenticity as well. And it is telling you to show your, your uniqueness, you know. Um, I mean, what what's that quote? You know, those that were seen dancing were deemed to be insane by those that could not hear the music. And you hear the music, you know, you do. That is why you're watching these videos, because you hear the music. So don't let anybody drown that out, you know. Like I say, stand up, turn it up loud, you know, and dance and and be you, you know, because like I say, this is you needing to be authentic, I feel. Um, so it's like dance to the beat of your own drum here, you know, embrace your inner weirdness, you know, because this is what it's talking about. You know, there's a lot of, a lot of my friends are sort of bohemian types and, you know, a lot of people would deem them as weird. You know, I, I feel they're the most, um, normal people in the world the ones that I feel are weird you know are the the little beige people you know that have these routines and, and stick in the boxes and to me that is that that is that is weird you know um so like I say embrace your inner weirdness here and hunt out those whose weirdness matches yours as well because when you are true to yourself then nothing can scare you so please don't let the moon scare you today this is more of a embracing and going out there and saying yeah you know what it is I am different but you know that is that is what makes me unique and that is what makes me me and I am not going to hide this for for anybody you know okay so like I say be weird I think there's in it's Austin Texas isn't it I really want to go there I've never been but they say that uh, there's a sign when you get in the airport saying stay weird and a friend of mine went and they phoned and they said Tanya this is just so so you you need to come here you need to live here because it is just it, it's right up your street so like I say stay weird <laughs> that's the message coming through with that one so when I said the cards sort of um work hand in hand I, I couldn't believe it this morning you know and the Osho card that we have here this is called awareness now I don't know if you can see that image it's a fabulous image here and if we look at it you know this shadow in the background, I've mentioned your shadow self, but this shadow in the background, it appears to be like in turmoil and torment as well. You know, there's this is talking again about mental frustration, you know, and it's very, very grey. And this is talking about, you know, stuff that you've been through recently as, as, as well. Um, but what is happening if we see there's this rip in, in sort of the veil here, and within this, we have this sort of childlike face looking out. And this, I feel, is your inner child coming out, you know. We are all we are all still children inside, you know. Um, and they say, what is it, the creative adult is the child that, what is it? It's the child that, that got away. Hold on, I actually have that on my phone. I, I, I seen it the other day and I, I loved it. Uh, sorry about this. That, that just came came in to be there so I need to oh right I'm really really sorry um there the creative adult is the child who survived okay so sorry about that I knew I had to look that up but yeah if we have a look that looks like an inner child so like I say this is about your creativity again this is about your authenticity and this is about being childlike you know because children are you know, children know how to live life. If you want to know how to live life or you want to put life to, into perspective, go and sit and talk to a four or five year old, you know, and they will tell you straight away what is important and how to live your life, you know. So when, <laughs> go back to the card, sorry. When we look at this, it's like ripping away the veil, you know, um, to find the awareness that, that we do actually have. And this can often be um, painful as well, you know. And it's hard for our mind to, when we've believed something for that long, it's very hard for us to then unbelieve it, you know? So when we become aware, when we waken and when our eyes open, there's there's this struggle. And you think if you've been in a very dark place for a long time, when you open your eyes, it takes you some time to adjust to, you know, it, it takes your eyes some time to adjust. And this is what happens with the spiritual awakening as well. But if we have a look at the result here, it's like the result is clear, it's calm, it's childlike, it's innocent. 
and it's got the color blue in it's not the gray anymore and blue is very significant for healing so this is saying that you are waking up from the pain that you have felt you know you are suddenly seeing things as they are and you are allowing sort of the ghosts of the past that have been haunting you you know you are you are seeing them for what they are you know, because I do feel there's, like I say, this is like a haunting, you know, it's like like being a bit in a horror movie sort of thing, you know, where wherever you turn, you're, you're waiting for them, you know, and you know that they're there. So, you know, it's, um, this is saying you cannot, you know, or you cannot, or do you really want to, you need to ask yourself, return to the anguish that has plagued you. Because, I mean, look at this guy here, it's sort of like psycho, you can imagine like the ee, 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 you know, like, like waiting behind you, you know, but it's come through that, come through that veil, you know, because the veil of illusion or the, the you know, um, this has been keeping you from perceiving things as they really are, you know, and it is starting to fall away now, you know, and there's, there's, like I say, this is the, this isn't a burning passion coming through with this, you know, it, it, it's not, it's like a cool flame of awareness that, that's shown here, you know, and it burns through the veil and it's sort of like, you know, when we burn plastic and it just all disappears, you know, and then we've got this sort of childlike, like Buddha really is become invisible. So this is saying that the awareness that has grown in you now is not a result of, you know, anything that you have done. And you don't need to struggle to happen. It is happening because it is meant to happen. Spirit are trying to show you the way, you know. And like I say, spirit are trying to show you the deceit that is going on. And, you know, they are allowing this veil to, to slip away. So any, you know, feeling that you've been like sort of grasping in the dark or walking blind or anything like that, it's going to start dissolving. If it hasn't already, it is starting, you know. So please give it time. So just let yourself settle into it. Like I say, sit and sit with your uncertainty and remember deep inside that you are just a witness to what's happening. You know, just be silent, be aware, you know, and don't be changed because this is about remembering who you really are, you know, before the world told you who you should be. Um, so when you start to see things like this, this is allowing you, this allows you to then detach you know, and this new awareness will take the veil away from you. I've just got there, you know, when you see like a death veil, they used to have like a death veil on people. Um, and that is it when, you know, they put it on people who were dead. You're not, you're awake, you are wide awake and you are ready to live. So it's like this veil is actually being, um, being, being took away. And this is, this is giving you the power to see, you know, without anything blocking, blocking your eyes. Now, when Osho talks about this card, he says, mind can never be intelligent. Only no mind is intelligent. Only no mind is original and radical. Only no mind is revolutionary. It's revolution in action. The mind gives you a sort of stupor, burdened by the memories of the past, burdened by the projections of the future. You go on living at a minimum. You don't live at the maximum. Your flame remains very dim. Once you start dropping thoughts, the dust that you have collected in the past, the flame arises, clean, clear, alive and young. Your whole life becomes a flame, a flame without any smoke. That is what awareness is. Now, I've mentioned before, you know, about turning your light off, you know, to, to make others feel better. And the card um, that, that comes in with the Colette Baron Reed, again, we have it in the protection position, which, like I say, this is reversed with, within tarot. And it's the card called the tribe. Now it's number eight, and eight is eight is eternity. This is eternal. You know, it's like infinity. You know, it's a very very special number uh, eight. So it's very connected, very spiritual. But with this card being upside down here, what this is saying to you is, don't compromise your integrity in order to belong. You know, don't dim your light or change yourself just to be accepted. Don't hide who you really are in order to play a role that others want you to, you know, because if you do, you will never be fulfilled and you will live in this state of fear and anxiety, you know, with, with all of these blocks around you. So this card is saying, be real, stand tall, you know, 
authenticity is your true expression. And what this does, when you are authentic and when you stand in your power and when you show up and you say, no, I am not hiding anymore. You know, I am perfect as I am. And the people that know that accept that, you know, and they that is why they love me. That is why why they want to be around me, you know, because of who I am, not because of who they want to mold me into. And what this does is this gives you empowerment rather than belittlement. And I feel that is it. When we are trying to fit in, when we are trying to fit into a role, when we are trying to be who others want us to be or expect us to be, this causes us to be small. It belittles us, you know, it devalues us, you know. And to be honest, it's downright disrespectful to ourselves as well as other people being disrespectful by that basically they're saying, you're not good enough. We will only love you if you do this, this and this. That is absolute bollocks, you know. At the end of the day, we will only love you when you are totally being yourself, you know, because that is that is when you can allow yourself to be loved, you know. So like I say, this card is all talking about author authenticity and looking at where do you feel you are um, compromising yourself in order to just be accepted or to fit in, you know. So this card is saying, please listen to your heart and soul, you know, they know who you are, you know, and remember who you were, you know, like I say before, the world told you who you should be, you know, because making yourself small costs you far too much. Um, so, wow, I, 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 I really, uh, I really like them cards today. I think there's, uh, you know, even the moon, I don't think it's scary. You know, I think, like I say, once you actually recognize why, what you are scared of, you know, uh, once you see that, it's 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 not it's not so scary. I think it was Jim Morrison that said, wasn't it? Expose yourself to your deepest, darkest fears. Once you've done that, they have no power over you, you know, and that is when you are free. And I think this is what is needed today, you know. It's about it's about breaking free. It's about you know, breaking through that veil of illusion, you know, it's about seeing things who they are, about embracing your inner child, you know, embracing your authenticity, embracing your weirdness, you know, and being around other weirdos, you know, that is where I feel that you will sh will, will, will shine at the moment, you know, um, and I feel that these people will allow you to fit in, because when you are around what people call weirdos, or, I mean, if we remember the hippies in the, in the 60s, uh, they were called uh, freaks, you know, people people used to call them freaks. Um, and, you know, what is freaky to one person is, you know, is is not freaky to other people. And what you tend to find is the people who are deemed the weirdest are the people who don't care, you know, who you are, what job you've got, what car you drive, you know. They don't care about that. They see you and they see your soul. They see the person that you are and they embrace that. You know, there's no need to impress, I think, you know, impressing these type of people is just showing up and being yourself, you know. So, I, I, yeah, that's, I, I like that. Yeah, just show up and be yourself, you know, that because at the end of the day, you know, you, 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 you do you better than anybody else, you know, but don't, don't, don't be small. So I hope them cards helped you. Uh, thank you for all of the messages that I'm getting. You know, I am really enjoying them. And then, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm pleased that I can get to uh, to contact you, you know, especially through if you're not on my Facebook, especially through YouTube. You know, it's, it's, it's great on there. So thank you to all the people I've got messages from. Um, and please keep them coming, you know, because I do I do enjoy them and I do try to reply to to everybody as well when I've got the chance. I've got a little quite a few stuff going on at the moment. So uh, I'm not going to be around as much as I can over the next couple of days, but I will still be here with the videos uh, and I will be able to reply, even if it's when I'm sitting in bed just before I go to sleep, you know, I, I will get to reply to you. So like I say, just be you today, you know, be you, be weird, be fantastically you. That's That's what you need to do. Okay, I'll be back tomorrow with the cards of today. Salam.